Hello Pisces, welcome to your love reading for October 2025. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or a live reading. Just click a link tree below to contact me or text me 646-902-5715. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides Universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Pisces, for love, for October 2025. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher crown, become closer to universe and closer to divine? energies prior to October for love. We have the chariot card in the upright, which is the card of cancer. Make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for this month's uh, Vimeo reading, which will be the Hunter's Moon, which is from October 16th to October 17th. And that spread I'll have, what do you need to release? What do you need to hunt? And how will you be prepared after, best prepared after the Hunter's Moon? Six of Swords is in the upright for energies in October. Uh, in my playlist, your 2025 Sun Moon readings that continue to come out here and there. <laughs> put your requests in the comments, I'll put you in queue. 2024s are still in there, see if they ring true for you or someone you know. And we end on the Page of Pentacles in reverse as you move out of October into November. Finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate, refer a friend in support of my efforts. That's always, always greatly appreciated. So Pisces. What I am seeing prior to October, it seems as though you have a goal in mind regarding a person. So I feel as though you had a person in your sights and you were very set on them, almost to the point of it being a conquest of sorts. I hate to use that word, but I mean, you know, when we point our 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 efforts or emotions towards somebody and we're so excited about that person we're so enamored by that person and then we actually get that person it's a big like wow moment we feel like we're on top of the world so i do see you focusing primarily on this person and this person only and deciding i'm going to be very determined um or you were very determined and very focused to have this person in your life come hell or high water so that's what i'm seeing prior to october now in october I believe this is a two-way kind of street here. <clears throat> Pardon the coughing. I just got over a cold. That's why I've been absent for a little while. Um, with the Six of Swords in the upright, I see you either, and I hope it's not going to be this, this thing, but some of you are actually moving closer to this person in order to get them, which is a little bit, a little bit too determined, in my opinion. Um, for others of you, it might have actually been a request uh, for you to kind of come out and be closer to them. You may have been talking to them and the long distance was causing a problem. So you decided, OK, well, I'll come out, I'll move closer to you so that we can actually start working on this connection. Now, October into November, what I'm seeing with the Page of Pentacles in reverse is that I feel as though this situation does not have the, the commitment, the uh, seeds of possibility in terms of something being longer term. The Page of Pentacles in reverse to me is more of a short term thing where it's more about immediate pleasures and somebody not wanting to commit, somebody being very um, gun shy, uh, somebody who is being very complacent in regards to having a connection. So I feel as though you're going to find this out October into November in regards to your person. Let's see what the clarifiers have to say. Why is the chariot card here in the upright? Who's this person and what's this energy? Additional messages for the chariot card in the upright. Okay, we have the Six of Swords in the upright. So that tells me that you are willing to relocate to be near this person. I feel like that's something that was put on the table. Um, I feel as though, be a little bit careful about that. Make sure that this person has had, well, it's too late, it's in the past. <coughs> Although it could be going on right now um, because I am doing this in September. So I'll throw the advice out there. Make sure they're extending an invitation. Hey, if you want to come out here, that'd be great. I would make it more of a visit than picking up all of your things and moving out there. And the reason why I'm concerned about it is because the Two of Pentacles in reverse for me is the try too hard card. It means that you're going to do anything you can um, practically to kind of make something happen. And you're losing sight of it's it's all very um 
very want-based, okay, in, in acquiring something. It can be seen as wanting to, it can seem a little bit materialistic, okay, so some of the spiritual aspects and things like that have kind of gone off to the wayside. So there's a tendency to become hyper-focused when, if I'm seeing that combination. Um, additional messages for the cherry card in the upright, please. And we have the nine of cups in the upright. Um, you're over the moon in regards to this connection. I absolutely have no problem with that whatsoever. But again, because these cards are kind of accompanying it, I have a concern that um, it, you're going to be um, perhaps idealizing a situation a little bit, uh, maybe putting in more than you might be getting back in this situation. So <coughs> I, I don't plan to cough during this entire video, I promise, but I had to put something up for you guys. Let me get a little sip of tea for my cat cup. Um, Alrighty, so let's see what's going on with this move here. Why is the Six of Swords here in the upright? Who's this person? What's this energy for Pisces? Okay, we have the, so you have help once you get there. I actually feel like wherever you're moving to, if you're moving closer to them, uh, you have friends, you have a support system um, of some sort, um, meaning that like when you land on the shore, you have people that can contact and can kind of set you up and things like that. So I don't feel as though you're going over and, and there's nobody kind of showing up. We had the Queen of Swords, the reverse, wonderful, whoever that person is, and the Star card in the upright, which is a good card, the card of Aquarius, but... Queen of Swords in the reverse indicates to me that there's somebody that is disagreeing with this. Could be somebody on your side, somebody on their side. Um, they definitely are, are giving someone the business, so to speak. So they're definitely saying some things that are very hurtful, very bitter. They're not lacking any compassion or understanding for what you're doing. Um, at times it could be an ex, it could be your ex, it could be their ex. But with the star card in the upright, you see you seeing this person is your soulmate. And I feel as though you're saying this person is my destiny. Um, this is the person I'm supposed to be with. I have all the faith and all the hope that we are finding each other at this present time. And then everything's going to work out wonderfully and we can overcome any challenges kind of standing in our way like the Queen of Swords in the upright. Why is the Page of Pentacles here in the reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy for Pisces? We have the world card reversed, okay. So with the world card reversed, I'm getting that things aren't quite adding up. Once you kind of um, go from October to November, it seems as though maybe there's some things that you're noticing that have gone awry or red flags, or things aren't necessarily following the course the way that you had um, envisioned them to be. And sometimes that can be our downfall, our outcomes, our expectations can be really be the root of um, what causes our disappointments rather than letting things unfold organically and see and dealing with what's in the present. Temperance card in the upright, which is the card of Sagittarius, is telling me that despite all of this going on, you're kind of trying to keep your temperament very level. You're trying to stay calm, trying to stay peaceful, trying to see the good um, in everything and kind of saying, you know, th this can still work. All I have to do is compromise a little bit and we'll figure this out. But the King of Wands in reverse is showing me an immaturity that this person has. Um... King of Wands in reverse can be somebody who uh, can be a little bit um, controlling or somebody who's overbearing or somebody that doesn't listen to another person's opinion. They just, there's total lack of communication. You express something to them and they don't want to have anything to do with it. So that could very well be a red flag that's kind of showing its ugly head during this period of time. <coughs> I should have a game where you drink every time I cough. Take a drink, take a shot every time I cough. All right, um, so that is what I have for you. I'm actually going to go into tell you about how uh, the Hunter Moon is generally going to affect you before you click on the Vimeo link to see how it actually does with the cards. So Pisces, opportunities will come to you during this time in the form of major investments or large acquisitions. Remember, this is from October 16th. To October 17th. Make certain that you have things in the best order possible to maximize on these things. Try to set aside any fears and realize risk is part of the equation. That could kind of pertain to your situation here. There will be an ending to a cycle which will bring about a fork in the road for you. So that's what you can expect for the Hunter's Moon. If this resonated, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me. 
or text me 646-902-5715. Otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for your Vimeo reading about your Hunter's Moon, October 16th to October 17th, what you will need to release, what you will need to hunt or go after, and how will you be better prepared after the Hunter's Moon in my playlist here, 2025 Sun Moon Readings. Put your requests in the comments. I'll put you in queue. 2024s are still in there. See if they rang true for you or somebody else. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate. Refer a friend and support him for my efforts. That's always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Pisces, I will see you in your Vimeo reading next. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.